Hello everyone, this is Limpy welcoming you to this very special edition of Inside the Den. Today we move into the realm of side-scrollers, MOBAs, and more. So I'm going to give you what I believe to be the top 10 action-oriented MMO games for 2012. Now of course, this is my list and yours may be different. So please feel free to comment below and tell me what you think are, in your opinion, the best free-to-play action MMO games of 2012. So without further ado, let us begin with number 10. The first game on our countdown coming in at number 10 is Rumble Fighter. This fast-paced action fighting game allows players to take part in a wide range of fighters and some nice customization options for each. I thoroughly enjoyed the game's many modes and maps to do battle on. The unique gameplay and the fact that combat actually takes some skill to pull off certain moves in Rumble Fighter is what really got me sucked into the game. Brawl Busters has picked up the number 9 spot on this year's top 10. This 3D action brawler MMO allows players to enter into various missions with your friends and take down zombies or other big bosses. But the game really gets fun when you jump into one of the many maps or modes and start beating the crap out of each other. The fast paced gameplay, fun visuals, and outstanding music really had me sucked in. Getting into battle with the game's quick join feature completed the sell of Brawl Busters for this gamer. Coming in at number 8, this year is Mythos. Mythos players have enjoyed quite the roller coaster ride with this game. Released to mass appeal, shut down very quickly, but then resurrected with success a short time later. Mythos brings a solid game world that can be played isometrically or more third person MMORPG depending on a player's taste. With a solid lineup of classes, each with numerous skills and skill builds to create, hundreds of dungeons to explore, thousands of items to find and identify, quests at every turn, and a super friendly community. Mythos is a game that should not be overlooked. Smite is laying claim to the number 7 on the countdown this year, making it the first MOBA game to hit the countdown. Smite brings a very unique setting to the genre. Now who hasn't spent their gaming life wanting to play the role of a god? The usual rules of MOBA gameplay apply but players will do so on Greek, Egyptian, and Norse pantheons, or arenas. The graphics are top-notch and so are the animations. So for any gamer with a bit of a god complex, Smite can help you cope just a little. Number 6 on this year's countdown is Rusty Hearts. This 3D semi-side-scroller really brought the fast-paced action combat. Then combine that with highly stylized beat-em-up gameplay for gamers who enjoy solo or group crawl through a dungeon. Throw in gamepad support, several PvP modes, and add in the fact that new content and characters keep on coming to the game world, it was almost impossible for me to ignore Rusty Hearts while creating this year's countdown. Here we are halfway to the promised land. Vindictus stakes claim on the countdown here at number 5. Players who enjoy non-target based combat, accompanied with epic boss battles, environments that can be used as weapons or destroyed, it's only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what this game has to bring to the table. I love the visuals and sounds of the game, and the animations are outstanding. Throw in the fact that Vindic Vindictus updates regularly with new content, and this game won't be leaving my hard drive anytime soon. Elsword is the game that just keeps on giving, and comes in at number 4. It seems like Elsword is updating with new content or adding a new character each and every week. The artwork and animations are amazing, the gameplay is fast and furious, and I, find my, I found myself wanting to run dungeons as fast as possible just to master the vast number of skills and special moves that each character had at its disposal. When tired of the dungeons, I would just jump into the PvP arena and battle it out against another player. So Elsword has quickly become one of my personal favorites. Number 3 on this year's countdown is Heroes of New Earth. And this team-oriented MOBA really takes some skill to master. But I love the fact that there was a wide range of heroes to choose from, and each of them had their own unique abilities and playstyle. The game had some excellent guides and tutorials as well, and really helps the newer player to understand the depth that exists inside the game. The unique aspects of Heroes of New Earth really sets it apart from other games in the genre and should be considered by any MOBA fan. 
Dragon Nest has thrown down the gauntlet and laid claim to, number, to the number two spot on the 2012 countdown. With four different classes to play and a multitude of skills to master in each class, the fast-paced gameplay is challenging and intense. Add in the difficulty setting on each dungeon and a player can really ratchet up that intensity. Then comes the PvP and the heart-pounding action that comes with trying to take down another player. The NPCs and cinematics of the game have some hilarious animations and voice acting that only adds to the entertainment value of Dragon Nest. Once again, in the end, there can be only one. The number one game on this year's countdown is League of Legends. League of Legends has quickly become the 800 pound gorilla in the MOBA and free gaming world. With over 100 playable champions and multiple modes of gameplay, this game is hard to ignore. Competitive leagues and teams have spawned worldwide, and tournaments for top players are bringing big prizes to those who learn to master the game's strategic gameplay. I found League of Legends to get even more challenging and entertaining when playing and battling it out with my friends. So there you have it, the top 10 action MMO games for 2012. Just like any of these games, the competition was intense this year, and with more titles on the horizon for the genre, I expect an even more intense battle for the top spot come 2013. Now don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, as your feedback is greatly appreciated. For now, this is Limpy for MMO Den, until next time, thanks for watching.